Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the notes or chords from any sample or even a full song in FL Studio. This is going to be a quick video, so let's get right into it. This method will give you both the chords and melodies, but if you just have a melody, there's an even easier way to do it. I've made a video just here, but if you have a more complicated example like a mix or a sample like this, this is the technique for you. It's a lovely piano sample and you can hear there's chords and also a little bit of a top line melody there. So wherever you've sent your audio or just right onto the master channel, that's how I like to do it, we're gonna load a plugin called Wave Candy. So under visual, look for Wave Candy. We don't need the mixer anymore, so I'm just gonna close that. We have a control box and also the visualizer here. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. Change to spectrum mode, increase the scale to maximum change the max resolution to at least 496, and then I like pushing the update speed so that it's a little bit slower. What we can see is this spectrum highlighting all of the different notes that are being played. We can adjust the dB range to get a little bit more clarity. If I push this up, it becomes very noisy, and if I pull it down a little bit, we get a little bit more clarity. We can also pause the visualizer by pressing this sort of uh, snowflake here, or we can pause and unpause by middle clicking with a mouse over the spectrum here. As I hover over each of these sort of heat map areas, it's going to show me down in this bottom right corner which note we have. A sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and then you can simply copy these notes into any generator you want. So I have this synthesizer here, and I'm just going to copy those notes over. So if I open the piano roll, it was A sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and then on the top we had another D sharp, and then at the bottom it looks like we have another F sharp. So it's quite straightforward, but there's a few things you can do to make it even easier. The first is, if you go to the piano roll menu here, go to view, and then key labels. I like having it on all notes. Sometimes it's only on root notes, and then it only labels each C. So you can see now the piano, uh, the piano roll is actually quite bare. It makes it a little bit more difficult to identify notes. So that is view key labels, and I just select all notes. And something that I find quite helpful is to double click the sample, pull open its wrapper, and I just drag the audio straight from here onto the piano roll. And then you can see the waveform has been added behind these notes. And that makes it nice and easy to line up your chords and melodies exactly the same as the sample. And if you want to get rid of that, go into view, and then you can just turn off the background waveform here, nice and simple. So if I just add in the rest of these notes here, uh, I'll skip ahead. You can see, for instance, I've got a C sharp there. It looks like the F sharp carries on. It looks like we have another D sharp here. Using that waveform as a guide, I've tried to copy this as closely as I can, at least the notes. So if I play the original, and then R1. So I don't like the sound as much, but the notes are correct. Something we could do to make this sound a little bit better is to select some of the notes and then use one of the tools here. So tools, the strum tool. What we can do is just sort of roll this a little bit. If I just play this here. Yeah, okay, so it adds a little bit more of a roll when it's being played so that it's not quite so static. But if you've got a sample that's a little bit more complicated, you can see all you need to do using this method is make sure that you have the dB range dialed in right. So if you have it too high, there's just loads and loads of noise. You can still see the notes, but it's a little bit more complicated. So pull the dB range down. You can see those bass notes down at the bottom. You can see the notes of the guitar, especially if I freeze it here. You can see all the different notes being played and you can actually discern the melody on the top when that starts playing as well. And the last thing I want to show you is just how to combine this with an EQ to really hone in on the part of the mix or focus in on the part that you're looking for. So you can see the trace can get a bit confusing. So if you just roll away the bass, roll away the top end, now it's pretty easy to see what your chords were and there's not as much distracting you. And of course you can freeze this with a middle click and hone in on any of those notes. Something else that can be really useful, if I just pull this back out, is also just expanding the Wave Candy display so that you have a little bit more space to work with. You'll still see the notes in the bottom right hand corner, but it gives you a little bit more sensitivity or precision. You wanna say hi to everyone solo? 
So that's everything. <laughs> so that's everything for today. I uh, hope you found it really helpful. And uh, here's your little solo update. I know a lot of people have been asking about my puppy, so here he is. He's not so little anymore. Anyway, hope you found that helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hey, buddy.